Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. Curl is one of the bigger troubles in the product and process design of laminates. In this clip in the series, we introduce the Abbott app called Laminate Curl Calculator. It can be used by anyone working with simple constructions. Laminate Curl Calculator calculates the amount of curl for two ply webs. All you need to know is the modulus, thickness, and tension for each ply. We will illustrate this app with a simple example of laminating a 3 mil polyethylene web to a 1 mil polyester web. We enter the values for tension and width that are readily known. If you don't know the modulus, merely click on the question box and it will give you a table for some of the common materials. Note that with ordinary tensions, the 10 to 25 percent of strength common in web handling, we would have violent curl to the PE side. Here, a small number for radius is worse curl. As we learned in the NIP application module of Web 101, the only effective knob for curl is the low modulus side. In this case, it is the polyethylene side. To make this easier, we will first switch to slider mode by unchecking the text box in the upper left. Then, we will slide the PE tension down until the radius goes large, change a sign or reach a zero in this case. The 27.8 pounds of tension required to just balance strains is on the low side for this PE. Moduli ratios greater than 4 to 1 are nearly impossible to laminate flat. A corollary calculator works some moisture and temperature problems. Here, moisture changes in paper, nylon, and other materials can compound the challenge of keeping the laminate flat. The analogous challenge with temperature is most acute on plastic films and especially foils. Mere changes in environmental conditions can cause a once flat material to curl. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my plant practical series. Stay tuned for more clips on Abbott apps and other web handling topics.